Hey guys, let's do an electric fields problem on Coulomb's law. Two charged objects have an attractive force of 0 0.075 newtons. Suppose that the charge of one of the objects is tripled and the distance separating the objects is tripled. Calculate the new force. So the reason this type of question is even asked is for you to think about how electric force is related to charge and how it's related to distance. At first glance, if you weren't familiar with Coulomb's law, you might think that if the charge is tripled and then the distance is tripled, maybe those two cancel each other out. So this question actually allows us to quantify that difference to see whether or not they fully cancel each other out or whether there's something left over. So let's draw a picture to start off this problem. So we've got two charges, Q1 and Q2. And they're feeling an attractive force, so we can draw attractive force arrows going towards each other. And this attractive electric force has a magnitude of 0 0.075 newtons. The distance between the two objects we'll call R. So there's R. Now, the thing with questions like this, it's all about formula manipulation. We haven't been given any numbers except the magnitude of the original electric force. Everything else is given in terms of the ratio from the final amount to the initial amount, the final charge to the initial charge, or the final distance to the initial distance. So for my initial distances and charges, I'll just leave them as regular uh, notation. So Q1, Q2, R, F, E. For the new ones, I'll call them, for example, the new distance, I'll say R star. And the question tells us that the distance is tripled. So therefore, the new distance R star is three times the original distance R. It also tells us that the charge of one of the objects is tripled. So I'll say Q1 star is equal to 3Q1. And my task is to find the new force, so I'm looking for Fe star. Now, I know the original formula for electric force. Electric force is equal to KQ1 Q2 over R squared. Now be careful, don't mix up that K with this one from uh, Hooke's Law. This is a different K, this is electric. Um, and K is actually given by something called 1 over 4 pi epsilon naught. And the value of K is about, that's approximately 9 times 10 to the 9, uh, the magnitude anyways. Now for this problem, it won't be necessary to know that, um, but just for future reference. Okay, so this is my original electric force, and I know this is equal to 0 0.0. 75 newtons. So 0 0.075 newtons is equal to kq1 q2 over r squared. This is going to come in handy soon. Okay, so now let's come up with an expression for the new electric force. It's going to look just like this, only with stars. So Fe star is equal to k. k doesn't need a star because it's a constant. q1 star. q2 is not changing, right? So we can just leave it as q2 over r star squared. Okay. Now, Q1 star is 3Q1, so replace Q1 star with 3Q1. Q2 can stay as is, and R we replace with 3R. Now make sure 3R you put in brackets, and then you put the squared outside of the brackets. Okay, so now let's take out this 3 to the front, 3K Q1 Q2. This squared gets applied to the R and the 3, so we end up getting 9R squared. So this actually cancels. The 3 cancels with the 9, leaving a 1 in the top, a 3 in the bottom. So this gives us 1 third k q1 q2 over r squared. Well, hey, I just realized that k q1 q2 over r squared is 0 0.075. So this here is equal to 0 0.075. So 1 third of 0 0.075 is... 0 0.025 newtons. So that is the new electric force. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, be sure to leave them in the comments section below. Otherwise, please stay tuned tomorrow for video 151, Coulomb's Law 2. All right, guys, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to smash that like button so I know what I'm doing makes sense to you guys. And you know how you can stay tuned for my latest videos? By subscribing to Physics in the Flesh. I post every weekday at 12 noon, and this way you guys can always be the first to know when I post a new video. 
As always, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you missed any of my earlier videos, be sure to click over there on the right. You can click and watch those videos on your screen right now. Anyways, guys, Physics in the Flesh out. Oh, my nose looks big on camera. I gotta find a new angle.